Happy new school year and welcome to a brand new edition of Phoenix Fireside presented by Prevea Health. Matt Mendel alongside the Director of Athletics, Mary Ellen Gillespie, and uh, welcome back. Welcome to a brand new school year. Thanks, Matt. Welcome back to you, too. Good okay. to see you. Exciting times here on campus, but I know one question you probably get asked a lot. What happens here on campus? Students are gone, but over the summertime, what happens here? Great question. A lot of people think when the students leave in May, we kind of have all this downtown <laughs> downtime and um, and that maybe we don't have to work 12 months out of the year, but you know that that is a that is a big myth. Um, the summer is actually a very busy time in athletics. Number one, you're getting ready for the upcoming seasons. Number two, you're playing catch up on some stuff that you might not have had time to get to during the academic year. And three, in the athletics business, because everyone is so busy during the academic year, it's when a lot of coaches meetings happen, when AD meetings happen, conventions happen. So uh, you're doing a, a little bit of travel as well. So there's probably, in essence, people will tell you there's about a two week window in the month of July where the majority of people take their vacations. And then in the summertime, that is a huge recruiting period for coaches. And then of course in the off season, there are changes. And from a coaching standpoint, from a staff standpoint, there have been some changes here. Yeah, there have been, and, and they're exciting changes. One, we, I always tell people the most important thing we do is hire good people. And then once you get them on board, you have to really invest in them. And, and last year, we went through a lot of transition on the staff side. And we had a lot of people, a lot of our new folks did tremendous amounts of work this year and really helped elevate our athletic department. And you've heard me talk about getting to the next level. We've been able to reward those people with title changes and, and promotions. And um, we made some of our assistant ADs, we elevated them to associate ADs. Um, and we were able to um, name a senior woman administrator, Cassie Batchelor, new to our staff last year, is now our senior woman administrator, which is a really nice jump for her, but it also allows another person around the executive committee table of the Horizon League. And then on the coaching side, we had vacancies in the head swimming and diving coach, and so Reed Robolo comes to us from the ACC uh, in Virginia Tech, coming off an ACC championship last season. He has really hit the ground running. Um, swimmers are loving their interaction with him. We've had some PRs in the pool in the, in the past couple of weeks. Um, and now he's searching for an assistant coach right now. And then we just hired a tennis coach who will oversee both our men's and women's tennis program. And Daniel Bickett is our go-to guy now for tennis. And we're excited to have everybody on board. And of course, in the off season, always a busy time for fundraising, the Phoenix Fun and golf outings successful this summer. We did. Uh, you've heard me talk about the need for increased revenue and, and just to be able to do what we need to do to run a Division I program. And I, I will tell you, we have the very best development staff in the business. Uh, Adam Miller, Molly Vandervest, and Pat Disher work their tails off um, to put on successful events and, and really to do fundraising and not just push the needle forward, but really shove the needle forward from a fundraising standpoint. And for the very first time, Phoenix Athletics has brought in over a million dollars. And if you look in the Horizon League, we are out raising um, our peers in the Horizon League. The, the, the school in second place in fundraising is behind us by almost a half a million dollars. Um, so kudos to our development staff. And then our golf outings, they don't happen without the involvement of the community. And uh, our Fast Break Club and um, some of the local folks who helped make the men's basketball outing happen and the tailor-made golf outing, they, they were home runs this year, or slam dunks, I should say. And um, you know, they, they will help elevate our department and be able to provide resources for student athletes. And speaking of slam jammas, Adidas, the new apparel provider of Phoenix Athletics. Yes, something we are incredibly proud of, and not just because it helps with a branding and image and consistency across the board for all 16 teams, but we're going to be able to do um, outfit 16 teams that we have not always been able to do. For example, we've never been able to provide a cross-country team with running shoes. Well, well, that's what that's what they're here to do in mm -hmm. addition to getting their degree and now we get to put them in running shoes and more than just one pair because we know the mileage they're putting on them is wearing out their sneakers. But it'll also allow our basketball teams to customize uniforms. It'll allow us to do military appreciation uniforms. Um, and it really, we were thrilled to partner with the gold standard company like Adidas. 
We're, we're proud of Mark King, our former athlete and alumnus of UWGB, who's the CEO of Adidas North America. He was very involved in the process, and we're just thrilled at what it will do in terms of elevating us from a national branding standpoint. So from an exciting off-season to now, a brand new school year brings about the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the university, and with the celebration comes plenty of events scheduled throughout the school year. Absolutely. Yesterday, uh, 50 years ago yesterday, uh, the state legislature signed into effect UWGB, and so yesterday was a wonderful day on campus and in the community. And now moving forward, you'll see some things come out of athletics this year to celebrate the 50th year. We're going to resurrect the Hall of Fame. Uh, we're going to implement a former athlete club um, in order to engage our letter winners a little bit more. Um, we're going to have a varsity athlete athletics weekend in February, and, and those events, those details will come out in the coming weeks once we get our schedules finalized. Uh, you'll find us highlighting 50 top moments of Phoenix athletics probably once a week, but throughout the year you'll definitely see that. Um, and just another way to engage alums, former athletes, and the community in the celebration and looking forward to the next 50 years as well. As the school celebrates its 50th anniversary, fall sports off and running, but basketball, also the schedule is being announced and the men's basketball team will embark on its 48th season of existence coming up on November 13th at Stanford, the home opener coming away on November 22nd against Minnesota Duluth. On the women's side, they get things started at home on the 13th of November against the Marquette Golden Eagles. Exciting time for both the men's and women's teams as far as the schedules go. It is, we're very excited and I have to really give kudos to the coaching staffs and, and Megan Vogel is just a whiz at scheduling and, and scheduling, the topic of scheduling alone could be a standalone Phoenix Fireside conversation um, she is just so good at it and, and is very visual in, in what we're going to look like over the course of the next three, four years with women's basketball scheduling. And then Randall Herps and Craig Sandlin on our staff who kind of, um, those two had to jump in with the coaching transition. We really had an empty slate in terms of what the schedule looked like. And so they were able to work together really closely this year and, and kind of fill in the puzzle pieces um, in terms of the schedule. And so we're, we're thrilled that we're finishing up the season. The last five games are at home. That is very, very important as we go into postseason and Horizon League tournament. And so we're really, really excited about the way the schedule is playing out. And something we talked about back in May when we sat down was on the men's side. The tournament will be at the Joe Lewis Arena in Detroit. But what came out during the offseason is the women's tournament. The entire tournament will be right here at the Crest Event Center. Now, the Crest Event Center has hosted the semis and the championship game for the last nine straight seasons. But now the entire tournament, new format coming here. Yes, again, something we're really, really excited about. And I am so proud of our staff that put this together. Craig Sandlin, Logan Hendricks, uh, Brent Tavis. The, the ultimate goal of a league championship is to provide your student athletes with the very best experience. And I think people know word on the street is Green Bay can provide mm -hmm. that. We've done it for so long, we're used to it. Um, it's a little challenging when you know you're hosting maybe a week before the tournament starts. So the Horizon League wanted to do a bid process and, and Green Bay along with two other institutions put in a bid to host it. And I, I'm not surprised that Green Bay won the bid just given our, our record of success. Um, I fully expect that we will go in as the number one seed. Expectations are very high. Um, but I, I also think this, knowing this far out allows us to put together a local host committee so that all 10 teams coming for the tournament uh, we'll have the very best experience from a community feel, from an institutional feel, and from an athletics feel. Now bring it back to the immediate future. What most excites you about this school year? What's on the agenda, at least early on? You know, we have an incredible amount on the agenda. There's still a lot of work that we want to get done in order to provide a great experience for student athletes. I think you'll see a new video board and how we can entertain fans in the Rush Center for men's basketball. Um, we're looking to drive community support for soccer, so soccer is free admission uh, for this year moving forward. We really want to engage the community in supporting our student athletes. Uh, you'll find um, um, another aggressive fundraising campaign for the Phoenix Fund, uh, working with the Chancellor's new vision for the institution to get, our, get off on the right foot for the next 50 years. Um, and just the need to compete in the top half of the league and for championships. So you've got new staff. I, I tell people we have the right people on the bus. We got the right people in the right seats on the bus. Now we're going to take off. 
Well, on takeoff, we will. Mary Ellen, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Go Phoenix. Go Phoenix, and thank you for watching Phoenix Fireside presented by Prevea Health. For continuing coverage of all Phoenix athletics, check out GreenBayPhoenix.com.